Well, for many people, they can't get up and moving without their cup of joe. And our next guest is sharing a latte information on how dark or light coffee roast can make a huge difference on your health. Nora Tobin with Nora's Naturals Coffee is here to break down this heated and strong debate on dark versus light coffee. Welcome, Nora. Thank you, Desiree. It's such a pleasure to be here. Yeah, and it's a great way to start off the morning as people are getting their cup of joes going. So besides <laughs> the difference in color between light and dark roast, let's start off with the health benefits that maybe come with a light roast. Yes, absolutely. So light roast is actually, as it sounds, roasted for a shorter period of time. A lighter roast will actually equate to more moisture in the bean. And that results in higher density and more fruit forward herbal notes. It's also higher in antioxidants. And it's going to give you an actually more caffeine boost rather than dark roast. Oh, wow. Okay. And so what about dark roast? What health benefits are in there? Dark roast actually contains pantothenic acid, which is a, uh, a B12, excuse me, B5 vitamin, and that's going to help convert food into energy in the system, so great for metabolism. It's also reminiscent of most cup of coffees that you will be enjoying um, from a, a traditional standpoint. It has those notes of caramel and nutmeg and gives you that more full body experience. I'd have to practice saying that five times fast, Nora. Pentothenic acid. Pentothenic acid. <laughs> so which one's good for daily consumption for those that need their cup of joe consistently? So it's honestly a personal preference. I find that I, I gravitate more towards the dark roast just because I love the flavors of it. Yeah. But for those who don't feel any kind of jittery feeling from coffee, the light roast, the higher caffeine count will be just fine. Typically with coffee, it just depends on the person and also the quality of the coffee. So you want to make sure you're getting a quality coffee, organic if possible, single origin. It's a really quick way to upgrade our nutrition just by having a quality cup of coffee in the morning. Oh, wow. So what other you know tidbits or facts can you give us between the differences between the two, the light roast and dark roast? So the light roast will give you, um, the, again, the more antioxidant count, and those antioxidants are going to help with cellular turnover, mm. resulting in brighter skin, healthier hair, giving us that protection against any kind of pathogen. And then the dark roast is going to be more full body, and it's going to give us that sense of almost that that calming home sense of what we expect in a, in a cup of coffee. So if you might be a little stressed or you just feel like you need that warm, cozy feeling, dark roast will do it. Okay, which one did you say will do the healthy skin and healthy hair? <laughs> <laughs> so the light roast has more antioxidants. And again, we're always looking for cellular turnover in our system to result in brighter skin and healthier hair. The more antioxidants we can get, whether it's from coffee, a quality coffee, dark chocolate, dark leafy greens, berries, those are gonna contain higher antioxidants that will help with that cellular turnover. Oh, wow. Well, anything that can help make my curls pop, Nora, I will take it, so light coffee all the way. <laughs> What's your preference, light or dark roast? I'm with you, girl. <laughs> I, I personally like the taste of the dark roast, but I, I also utilize the light roast for uh, for just the collagen benefits, but our coffee actually is grown in volcanic soil. So it's Ooh. rich in silica, which is a precursor to collagen. So either way, I, I like both the light and the dark roast. And if someone's maybe like a little new to coffee, maybe they don't really like the bitter, strong flavor, what would you recommend maybe from your coffee line that they should try? I would say the light roast. So the light roast almost results in the in a in a more thin quality like a tea and the dark roast is more not syrupy but it has yeah. more of a, uh, a full experience so yeah i would say the light roast perfect well nora you've you've handled this debate very well we've heard both sides <laughs> we're not being biased on either i really appreciate it and for more talks over a cup of joe visit nora's naturals coffee.com